The pleasures of love last but a fleeting, but the pledges of life are loss a leaf time. Your eyes kissed mine. I saw the love in them shine. You brought me heaven right then. Such love divine. You didn't peg the plateau on her talk. Believe you me, she was safe enough. And then she'd ask to bestow a hymn. The heart bowed down, or the rakes of Mallow, or Kelly Mickles, La Calumnia, E un Vermicelli, or a Balfi. Fit of old Joe Robinson. So Barrow, old Darren's of Campbell, sitting somewhere on his set, drumming and drumming, asking quizzy quizzes of rustful countenance, his chilling staff to encourage his offices where he checked their depths. She had a close peg tight astride in her jockey's nose. And she kept on grounding a something quaint in her funny mouth. And the wreck of the fluve of the tail of the gowan of her snub drab sleuther skirt trailed 50 odd Irish miles behind her lugra hodes. Only captured when she wished, no matter. Sex of voiceful ways to add a tamara lazzy a lassy to hug and have haven in humpy's eye. What was the wiry ring she made? Oh, dear, oh, dear. Tell me the trend of it while I'm lathering halos of Dennis Florence with all these zombies. Was it? Is it? Are you certain sure? Not where the fin fits into the morn. Not where the north takes leave of bloom. Not where the braid diverts the fairer. Not where the moy changes her mind twixt Colin and Con. Between Con and Colin. I feel as old as yonder elm. Tell me of Shem and Sean. Who are Shem and Sean, the living sons and daughters of? Night now, tell me, tell me, tell me, elm. Night, night, tell me tale of stem of stone. Beside the rivering waters of, hithering, littering waters of night. I can see you are. How does it tumble? Listen now. Are you listening? Yes. Yes, indeed, I am. Turn your hour O's as on end by hours and the cloudy but badly won the burn to the Beckham Beckham and I do. In a gabbard he barked it, the boat of life from the harbourless Ivern Canokian, till he spied the loom of his landfall and he loosed two croakers from under his tilt the Grand Phoenician River. On the mat by the porch and in under the cellar, the rivulets ran a flood to see, the glat boys, the polynutes, out of the pawn shop to the pyre, and they all about her, juvenile leads with ingenuineness from the slime of their slums and artisan dwellings. Wish a wish, why a why, Mavro, Letty Lurk's leafing light, throw those laurels now on her daft daft tea song at Trump. Karen and Anna up in a memorial man. I see Aunt Susan, go my camel, it's a bird I go. Drop me the sound of the falcon's name, Mitchu Mitchy, some bugger was business. And drip me why in the Flanders, was she freckled? And trickled me through what she marshal waved as she widely awake she wore. And there she was, and Olivia. She doesn't capture a wrinkle of sleep, pulling around like a chittery child. Or a jugban of coffee mokau and sable or sikiang's sukri or his ale of ferns. Now it is notoriously known how on that surprisingly bludgeony Unity Sunday when the grand Gamogel all-star bout was hastily the rage between our Wellington's extraordinary and our petty thicks 
The Marshal AZ and Irish Eyes of Welcome were smiling daggers down their backs. Metal where o rage it swales and rises. My hardy heck. He'd cast them from him with a stout of scorn, as much as to say, you sow when you sought. Well now here comes the Hazel Hatchery part. After Clondalkin, the King's Inn will soon be there with the freshness. But where was himself, the Timonier? That merchant man, he surveyed their scutties right over the wash, his cameliers, burners breezing up on him. And the cut of him, and the strut of him. How he used to hold his head as high as a howard. The famous old Duke Ailies, with a hub of grandeur on him like a walking weasel rat. The dearest little mama ever you saw, nodding around her, all smiles, with the ends of embrass and orsta or between two ages. A duty queen, not up to your. But in welk of her mouth was her nasal light. Everyone that saw her said the douse little Delia looked a bit queer. Lotsy trotsy, mind the puddle, missus. It's here ill were a lord of a banner or a knight of a shire at strike, I wonder. I wonder. What slipped me a day for so two in catch for watching? And by my wild gaze I regander. Flowy and mount on the brink of time makes me wishes and fears for a happy mass. I saw la bella then running with reconciled romance that rings on like a ledge to be off like a dart. Are you not gonna home? Walk them home! Now alone! <laughs> Spas and Speranza and Symposium Syrup for declared and blind and gouty goth. With M's of Emberas and R's of to R, between two ages, a Judy Queen, not up to your. A big drum for Billy Dunboyne. A guilty goldeny bellows, below me blow for me, for Ida Ida and a Hashe rocker. Daggy Barney, wicker man. Hello, Ducky, please don't die. Lordy, Lordy, did she snow? Well, Vi Vivian, little Ankan, Vielo and a high life. Sing us a sula, oh Susuria, how son is il dulcis. Where did I stop? Never stop. Continuation. You are not there yet. And Andy Mackenzie, a helip, and a backlash for clash dish for pencil speech. Island is always island stiff. Lord, help you, Maria, full of grease, the Lord is with me. Or where was he born? Or how was he found? Hulgerland, Trivelstown, or the Cattle Cat? Slavs mean pies for Andy McKenzie. A hair clip and black dish. Pencilers pencil. The twelve sounds look for GV books. First, she let her hair fall down, and floss to her feet and stomach one coils. And mother naked is pulled herself with gallop waiter and fragrant beside Dimra, Blossoma, a pocket, a packet, a book, and a pillow for Nancy. Some say she had three figures to fill and confined herself to 111. Was by one, by one. What a wish! Why, a oh why, Mavro? Letty Lerk's laughing light throw those laurels now on her daft daft tea song Petrock. Mass! But what did she give to Pruda, Ward, and Caddy Cannell, and Peggy Quilty, and Brady Brossama, and TZ Kernan, and Anna Lapping? I saw home slowly now by my own way, my valley way, to we, I too, wrath mine. What am I ranting now? And I thank you. 
Is it a penny or is it a surprise? Letter to last a lifetime from Maggie Beyond by the Ash Pit. The heftiest frozen meat woman from Lusk to Libyan Bad for Feelum the Ferry. So uneasy her shame made love shone be fun. Her tears as far shem her pen might life past be foul his prime. My colonial ward a bag full a bacarines does in with the tide. <laughs> But now you're gone Like a dream that fades unto dawn But the words stay locked in my heart strings you were near mine. Les îles d'amour ne durent qu'à moment. Chagrin d'amour de la vie